Hey YouTube, happy end of June. Happy Wednesday, June 30th of this year, 2021. In this video, I have something that's probably more useful to everyone from a practical perspective compared with some of my other voice over IP videos. Here I'm going to show you how you can use an OBHI ATA in order to make calls over Google Voice and how you can use that OBHI in conjunction with a Linux machine to have a home PBX trunk. So what I just walked over to here is the OBHI OB202 that I purchased for $40 on eBay. And you have to get a OB200 or 202 as far as I know in order to use telephones, regular analog telephones with Google Voice. You can't use a generic Cisco ATA, Linksys, Grandstream, or others. Well, there is the exception, which is when you use Google Voice as a trunk for a PBX and then connect the PBX to those other ATAs. But for Google Voice itself, if you want to have a phone like this one, this little Panasonic cordless set that I have throughout the house, you'll need a OBHI ATA, not one of those others. This one is directly compatible with Google Voice. It has two lines. It's on and it's connected to the internet. I'll show you the back of that real quick. There's USB, I think, for a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi plug-in. Um, you know, WAN is obviously better. It's a more stable connection. And I have one phone cord connected to the base station of my Panasonic system. Anyway, so that's nice because, you know, you get two lines on this ATA, uh, you get two lines of this ATA, two Google Voice lines, two regular landline phone no numbers. This one you know, is a 513 area code, and I have a second one set up as a trunk for a asterisk PBX. That's also a 513 area code number. Um, anyway, so I'll use the cordless system for testing in a bit. Anyway, so that's the ETA you have to get. I, I got a good deal on this. I think you can get these for a good deal at, uh, on eBay. And by good deal, I mean between $30 and $50. But it's possible that you have to spend a lot more than that, maybe $60 or $70. In order to get an OB High OB200 or OB202 ATA. Um, anyway, so... That is the ATA you need to set up Google Voice with a telephone and to create a delightful trunk for a PBX. So I've walked just to the right, and what we are seeing right now is the router hub of the house. There's a cable modem stacked on top of a hard drive for media sharing. This very nice Linksys WRT1900AC router that has amazing range. I think even two blocks outside I can still pick it up. But that's a subject of another video. The key thing here is this thin client, this HP, I think it's a T510 thin client, that's running MX Linux and has incredible PBX installed. I followed... Ward at NerdVittle's incredible PBX Google Voice trunk setup and had only one minor modification I had to make in order to get incredible PBX talking to the OBHI ATA and properly set up with a Google Voice trunk. And what was that modification? So anyway. I just use this thin client with MX, Debian, Linux as, as a stable Linux distribution and incredible PBX installed. Anyway, so what was that little change I needed to make? I followed all of Ward's directions, except I set my trunk as PJ SIP. Um, yeah, so you can see the trunk phone number. Don't spam that, please. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's OB202, and it's set up as, as PJ SIP. This is great because, you know, when I make outgoing or get incoming calls, I can run asterisk-r, uh, 
six or seven Vs and then see all the calls that are coming in and out and see that they're PJ SIP. Um, yeah, so that's that's a key thing. I will find the page that Ward put up. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it's this one, Ward Mondays Techno Babble Log, creating an OB202 Google Voice Trunk to use with asterisk. Yeah, so that is, is what you want. Um, let's see if I can fit this. Yeah, I can fit that on the tripod mount, and I'll just zip through that real quick and include this link in the YouTube video description. My friend Peter Puskarich also worked out some details on getting, you know, this Google Voice trunk working with free CX and free PBX and I think uh, incredible PBX. So he might put up a video or some blog post or something with information. Um, yeah, so you register your device with OBTalk, uh, configure configure service providers and their SIP settings on the ATA and you basically have to bridge one of your uh, Google Voice connections on the OB High to a SIP connection to asterisk and that's how you get you know both inbound and outbound a trunk that works. Yeah so a service provider and then ITSP profile um, and then that's information in the incredible PBX GUI for how to configure the um, trunk settings from incredible PBX to the OB high and then vice versa. And that takes a good deal of work. You have to make sure you do that in OB talk instead of on the ATA itself because the ATA will talk to the OB talk website and then update its settings from there. Vital PBX doesn't matter here. Anyway, so I just showed those details. Yes, yeah, so you can see there isn't too much to it. Um, the key thing is, see it's saying add a SIP trunk here. You don't want to add a SIP trunk. You want to add a PJ SIP trunk. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you a test call I'm going to make, and we should see the second Google Voice phone, at least another one of the cordless handsets ring when I dial the number. Excuse the mess. Um, so I'll go ahead and take a look at this phone here. Uh, I'll point the camera down towards it and I'm going to dial that green phone with the 624 prefix for the OB high and see if we get a ring on the cordless phone. John. Yeah, it works. You can see it. I can successfully make a call from one number to another. Okay. And that disconnected. Anyway, so that just shows you, you know, now you have a trunk for a PBX and I can dial out of the PBX to, you know, a, a PSTN number. And in addition to that, when I dial into the PBX, I've created an IVR, in Interactive Voice Response System that, you know, says, welcome to the Home Linux Server PBX, dial the extension of the party you wish. You know, you can do all of that. And, and have fun calling inbound. Uh, one really important thing for everyone to note is this is officially against Google Voice's terms of service, but there's you know good reasons for that. One, you don't want to evade long distance charges. Two, you don't want to have hundreds or thousands of calls on your PBX. If you just have a few lines and you know you're 
just having inside Canada and, and U.S. calls, you shouldn't have problems with that. So th that's just a couple things to note. As long as you aren't doing anything that gets outside long-distance charges, that's evading them, making them free when they shouldn't be, you'll be fine with your trunk. Anyway, I hope that's helpful to you. That's really nice because now with that PBX trunk, you can use any phone on any ATA pretty much to make regular PSTN public switching telephone network calls. Because of this, now I've used my rotary phones to make work and errand phone calls. You know, calling up uh, WM, ATA, and, and, and so on. Anyway, so I hope that's helpful to you. Now you have an interesting option for a public switching telephone network, a landline connection that you could even connect over SIP, over Wi-Fi, and, and you know have different extensions of your PBX dialing other public telephone numbers. I hope this is useful to you, and if you have more questions and want more details about the setup, you can leave those in the comments down below. As always, like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your week.